Uh, good afternoon, everyone that's joined in. Today's session, again, it's going to be like a six by six circuit style session. But again, the emphasis is going to be on sort of building muscle, burning some fat. Basically, we're going to change body composition in this session. Okay, it's not going to happen overnight. But again, these sort of sessions are great for anyone that's looking to sort of, as they call it, lean up. So lose some fat, build some muscle, give that a bit more definition. Again, I go for girls and guys. Okay, so today's session, all you need is a towel or a mat, like always, and again, some weights. So you can use kettlebells, dumbbells, water bottles, resistance bands, anything you've got. But to start off with, we'll just do the warm up like we always do, and then I'll go through all the exercises. So to begin with, just lay down, one leg straight, one leg bent, and then you extend through the knee. Should be six on one side, six on the other. One, two, and six on both sides. You then lay down on the floor, palms together, hand on the floor. Then all you're going to do is sweep the arm around and then back around again, okay? So you're going to do that three times each side. So you want to keep that hand into contact with the ground. Follow the hand round with your head. And then obviously swap sides again as well. Make sure you keep your, your knees together. So if you're struggling to keep your knees together, just say put a water bottle in between and then squeeze that together. So obviously do three on the other side as well. Okay, from there, I know I cheated, but I needed two. So from here, we're just going to go hands and knees. We're going to go opposite hand, opposite leg. So we're going to extend opposite hand, opposite leg. Again, remember, engage the core. So if you just keep yourself loose and do it, as you notice, there's quite a lot of movement in my hips, in my lower back. If I engage the core, and again, push that heel away, rather than up, less movement. And once you're down four on each side, you then come up into a press up position, take your feet wider, and it's gonna tap the shoulders. You're gonna do three taps each side. And from there, split stance position. As you squeeze the glutes and raise the hand up, shift the weight forward. Keep this glute squeezed the whole time. Okay, we're gonna do four on one side, four on the other. And get them hips moving. And keep the glutes squeezed. And now we're going to take it up into standing. We're just going to push the hips back. Shin stay vertical. Hands above the head. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. Bring the elbows towards the rib cage. Do this six times. We're doing that six times. We're going to get our palms together. We're going to go back again with the hips. Then you can rotate out one way, keeping this hand still, and then rotate out the other way. So you do three each side. From there, we're just going to squat down, grab the knee, squeeze it up, and extend it back. Bring it back in. Three times each side. So you squat down, grab the knee, hug. Extend back. Then three times each side. Again, don't worry about your ankle turning out at the end here. If you're squeezing that glute, that foot should naturally rotate. So as you can see here, my toe slightly points that way. That's fine. That means I'm squeezing that glute, okay? So again, I want you to have three times each side on that. We're just going to squat down, grab the ankle, and extend up. Squat down, grab the ankle, and extend up. Again, three times each side. 
Again, nice and tall. From there, we're just going to mark on the spot. Again, everyone that's done this before will know what to do. When I say go, we're just going to skip on the spot. Go. And rest to there. We do that again, but we're going to go forward and backwards. So just towards the camera and back. I'm towards the camera. You'll be towards the TV and back, whichever way you're facing. Okay, so marching on the spot again. Into a skip, go. And move forward and backwards. And rest it there. This time we're just going to move side to side. Move my towel out of the way so I don't slip. Okay, marching on the spot again. As you notice, I'm using my arms. I'm not loose at the arms or really stiff. Again, move with the arms as well. Skip on the spot. And move side to side. And rest it there. Okay, session to start with it. As I said, it's one circuit, six exercises, six reps, six times round, okay? So the first exercise we've got, again, you can use bags or water bottles for some of these exercises. So for this one, you can use a bag or water bottle. I'm just going to demonstrate two water bottles. It's a, a Romanian deadlift or RDL. So it's back like this, hips go back, water bottles go down the legs. If I squat it, they come away, okay? See my arms? They should aim towards the feet. Six of them. As soon as you have six of them, it's six reverse lunges. Again, you can just do split squats if you can't do the lunges. From there, we're going to go into jump squats. So, we're going to be here. Squat down, jump up. Again, you can do drop squats. So again, it's up to you, a bit of a variation there. From there, we're gonna have a push press. So I'd recommend water bottles for this. Again, you can use a bag full of water bottles, but again, it might be a bit uncomfortable. So dip, max effort on the way up. Dip, max effort on the way up. Six of them. We're then gonna go bent over rows. So. You can use your bag or water bottles again. Remain in deadlift position. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. So you're going to row them water bottles up. Once you're done that, you're then doing six burpees. So you can do slide your feet out if you've got wooden flooring. Slide it back up. Or again, here's my dog. You can jump it back and jump it back up again, okay? If you don't want to do burpees, you can do hand walkouts. So you can take the feet wide with the shoulder width, walk the hands out, reach, reach, and walk it back up. And again, you don't have to do the arm reach, okay? Obviously, I'll go around with you and remind you of anything as we go. Hopefully, that will make sense. Okay, so if everyone wants to get themselves ready, again, you can use a bag full of water bottles or water bottles, it's up to you. You know what, I use the bag to start with. Go to three, two, one, let's go. So again, nice and quick. Good, once you've done that, Reverse lunges, six each side. So it's not six in total. We're looking for six each side. Again, you can just do the split squats. That's just up and down if you want. Once you've done six each side, bottles down into jump squats or drop squats. Again, we want max effort on the jump squats. So you really jump up. Land, reset. 
Make sure the landing's good. Once you've done six of them, water bottles again, above the shoulders, dip and push. Max effort on the way up. From there, we're going into bent over rows. So I'm going to grab the bag. Romanian deadlift back, so shins are vertical. And then row that bag in. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Good. You're into six burpees or six hand walkouts. So I'm just going to slide, jump. And rest it there. Okay, we're going to have for minimal rest. We're going to have for about 15 seconds rest. And then we're going to go again. Sorry about the noise you might have heard then. I think they're sweeping the roads outside. Okay, we've got five seconds. Get yourselves ready to go again. Grab whatever you need. Go in three, two, one. Let's go. As always, if you need more rest, take more rest. Good, six of them. Again, it seems quick, it's meant to be. We're keeping that heart rate elevated, we're not letting it come back down to baseline. As we keep going, it should get harder. Remember, six each side here. Keep that torso straight, it's angled forward for me, but it's still straight. From there, jump squats. So remember, we're on max effort or it's the drop squats. Remember, the landing is just as important as the pushing up. One, two, six to them. We're going into six push presses. Just here, dip, max effort. From there, we're going into bent over row. So again, grab your bag, use the water bottles, anything you want. Hips go back. Shins stay vertical. One, ten, six of them. Into six burpees. Again, it's fast paced. Good, and rest to there. Again, 15 second rest. Grab some water, whatever you need. Okay, we're going in five seconds. Third time round. Halfway through this will be. Whatever, grab whatever you need. Going in three, two, one. Let's go. Good, keep going. Do six here, drop the bag. If you're using the water bowls, just keep going. Again, you can hold the bag up here if you want for these. Again, alternating. So one leg comes up, the opposite one goes back. One, two, six each side. Jump squats. Remember, six here. Good from there, push press. Remember, dip, max effort all the way up. Once you're on that, bent over row. So again, hold it like an RDO, hips go back, keep that position strong. Six there, into burpees. So again, you can do hand walkouts instead if you want. So a hand walkout is going to look like this. 
if you don't want to do a burpee. Again, yeah, I'm only sliding out because my floor is slippy. Good, we're going to six there, rest it there. 15 seconds rest, we're halfway through. Again, the first one should have fought a little bit easy, this. Third one round should start getting a little bit harder. Right, whenever you're ready, grab whatever you need to for the first exercise. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. Remember, keep that back straight, shoulders back. Don't let them relax. And into reverse lunges, six each side. So then back. Alternate legs. Everything's trying to talk to me whilst I'm working out. My iPad's going off. Again, six each side. I can't see you lot, so I hope you're doing it all right. I trust that no one's cheating. Again, we're for six each side. Hope no one's just sat there watching me do all this. When you're on six each side, jump squats. Or drop squats. Good, once you've done that, push press. Come on, two more times after this. Max effort on the way up. Come on, you can do it, keep going. Push it up, good, bend over rows. Again, I'm moving quick, it's meant to be done one after another. Hips go back, squeeze the shoulder blades. Good. Take yourself out of your comfort zone. If you can't do a burpee, if you can't do six, do as many burpees as you can, then change to hand walkouts. And rest it there. Two more times round on this. Then everyone's heart rate should be up. If you've got a heart rate monitor, check it. Good, we've got five seconds left. Then we're going again. Grab whatever you need. Going in two, one, let's go. Come on, second to last time round. Good, once you're on that, reverse lunges. Remember, keep this knee in line with the foot. Nice and controlled. Torso nice and stiff. Engage this core. Come on, you can do it. Keep pushing. Got one more time round after this. Once you're on six each side, jump squats. This is where the leg should be burning. Good once you're on that. Grab your wall balls. We're gonna do push press. From here, dip down, push up. Max effort, slow yourself down. Really explode up. Once you're on six there, bend over rows. Come on, we're almost there. Hips go back. Row it in, chin stay vertical. Bag should not hit the knees. Once you're on six, into burpees. Again, just do as many as you can, then do hand walkouts. Again, with the burpees, you can step it in and out. And by all means, you don't need to do the jump. Rest it there. Okay, we've got one more time round. Really push yourself on this last time round. Okay, we've got five seconds and we're going. Good. Going in. Three, two, one. Come on, last time round. Two, three, 
four, five, six, put it down. That's the end of there. Six reverse lunges. Come on, last six on each exercise. That knee doesn't touch the floor. Good, keep it going. Once you have six here, six jump squats. Come on, keep pushing up, max effort. Want to show six there? Push press. Come on, max effort on the way up. Sweepers are back. From there, bent over row. Come on, last two exercises. Hips go back, shins stay vertical. Then into burpees, last time. Come on, keep it going all the way to the end. No cheating. And finish there. So again, grab any water you need. No time limit on the rest. I'm not timing anyone. Let's get my breath back. Again, use this circuit as a challenge, okay? So, go away, do it on your own, time yourself. See how long it takes you to do every exercise, okay? And again, once you've done it once, do it again next week. Try and beat that time. And obviously, once you get to a certain time, you won't be able to beat it. You'll just be going so fast. We we'll have to mix it up, and make it a little bit harder. But set yourself a goal. Say, I want to complete it in this time, and try and go it. So the 15 seconds in between, take it out. You don't need that 15 seconds. You can just do it straight after one another. Okay. So you finish the burpees. You go straight back into Romanian deadlifts. You can do that. But again, for today's purposes, gave everyone a bit of a rest in between, including myself. From there, though, when you're ready, lay on your back, one foot on top of the knee, just going to stretch out them glutes. Don't know about you guys, but I definitely know I've worked out. And swap sides. So again, that was just over 15 minutes. Obviously, if we take out the warm-up and my description of the exercises, which might be quite long, probably about 15 minutes to do that. So again, that's good going. That's 15 minutes of purposeful exercise. So again, at that, if you did that, I mean, three or four times a week, then you're looking to head in the right direction. From our side, we're going to stretch out the quads. So the top leg is going to come over. Bottom hand's going to grab that. This top arm's going to grab the bottom leg. So again, you haven't got to do an hour, hour and a half every day. Something like that's perfect. If you're stuck for time, don't know what to do, want to do something quick, not feeling it that day, something like this would be really good. Just don't recommend doing it every day. And swap sides. And bring the top leg over, hold the bottom arm. From there, we're going to go over. Onto our knees, we're going to push the hips back towards the feet and we're going to stretch the hands away from us. 
So again, just walk the fingers away from the head and drop the head in between the arms. Shifting it, stretching into the lats, into the shoulders. Okay, from there, we're gonna take it into a split stance position. One of my favorite stretches. Again, squeeze the glutes, raise the hands up, over and back. So again, take the lower back by squeezing the glute, you're raising the hands up, over and back. And just hold that. And swap sides. So squeeze the glute, raise the hands up, over and back. Again, your lower back's hurting, you're not squeezing that glute, okay? You just relax and lean in back, okay? Squeeze the glute, lean over and back slightly, okay? Just so you feel it stretching. From there, you can do this into a kneeling position or standing, hands behind the back, just push them away from the body, stretch out the chest. Finishing on this stretch. And rest it there. So again, just a little bit of a point of before everyone leaves. So again, whatever your goal is, whether you want to lose weight, build some muscle, tone up, you have to have a certain nutritional goal as well. So for example, if you want to tone up, that involves building muscle, losing some body fat. It's quite hard to do the, the same things at the same time. So focus on one. If you've got a goal weight, get down to that goal weight first and then look to build some muscle. To build some muscle, you need to be in a calorie surplus. You need to eat more calories than you need to just sustain life. Um, again, it can get quite confusing, but again, if you need any help, I'm here to help. Um, again, that's really about it. I mean, it sounds simple, but there is a little bit more to it than that. Um, but yeah, it just depends on what your goals are. Don't try and do too many things at once. So don't be like, I need to tone, I need to build muscle and lose fat at the same time. It's quite hard to do that. You can maybe do it at the start, but one of them's gonna plateau and then you're just gonna get stuck, become disheartened, stop doing what you're doing. You just need to change up a little bit, okay? So again, thank you for joining in today. I'll be back Monday as well. Until then, see ya. What? See ya. I'm really sorry. I've got to put my on. And, no, you should apologise for taking the mic out of me. I'm sorry. Love you. That's actually really hard, that was. What? Like, you just make me feel so self-conscious, like, no. I don't want to do it anymore. No, no, don't say the rest of it is good. No. No, it's how you end it as well. Don't. Don't touch me. I don't want to hear it now. I'll be really supportive of you, no matter what you did. No, I see really how my feelings as. You should support me. Who is she, Ronnie? All I said. That was, that was really mean, Ronnie, wasn't it? Because oh, now I'm not going to post that on YouTube because I don't, I don't want it anymore. I'm not joking. That's really mean. Oh, I'm sorry. That's really hurt my feelings as. I'm sorry. Thank you for upsetting me.